Tide Forecast with meteorologist Pat Walker. Warning everybody, cue alert on your television screen right now. Look at these beautiful kindergartners from Pulaski Academy here touring the Arkansas Today studios. I mean, aren't they just a sight there? Fantastic, beautiful children. Are you guys excited? All right, that's what I love to hear. Are y'all glad to be on TV? All right, what's, all right, fantastic guys. Well, hey. It was a cold, cold morning this morning. Check out these low temperatures we had this morning. It was 12 in Fayetteville, 15 in Mountain Home, Little Rock was 23, and Camden was 21. Now, for some of us, these temperatures actually were a little bit warmer than yesterday morning, like Little Rock and Fayetteville, both actually a little warmer this morning. Let's go back to yesterday morning. Oh, Fayetteville was in the single digits, and Little Rock was in the teens, but some of us actually had a colder morning this morning. Now, all in all, this morning, yesterday morning, Monday morning, they've all been very, very very cold. It's just, you know what, it's just kind of one of those mornings when you want to get up and have your breakfast and you, you really want something hot to eat, a really hot breakfast rather than that cold cinnamon toast crunch cereal with that cold milk. It just makes it so hard. But the good news is maybe that cinnamon toast crunch will work just a little bit later on this week when we have some warmer weather. All right. Beautiful, beautiful day. Sunshine out there. Look at these temps now. We're all above freezing. I think it's the first time all week long at noon that the entire state has been above freezing. Jonesboro's the coldest at 33. Little Rock's 37. Camden's almost 50. It's 48 there. Fayetteville's 40. El Dorado, you're 45. And everybody's warmer than yesterday, obviously. And in West Arkansas, we're almost 10 degrees warmer than it was at noon yesterday. High pressure's right over this day, and that gives us varying winds. So we're seeing north winds, we're seeing south winds, we're seeing east winds. But the winds are generally shifting from the north like we've had the last three days. Now it's going to be out of the south as high pressure over us is moving off to the east. Even though it's warming up, there's enough of breeze to give us a wind chill effect in some locations, in all of our locations, of 3, 4, 5 degrees. So it's one temperature, but it actually feels maybe just a little bit cooler. All right, as we go through the afternoon, look at this. 50s in west and south Arkansas, mid to upper 40s in central Arkansas. Tonight will still be cold. Many of us will be dropping down to the low 30s, if not maybe even the upper 20s tomorrow morning. But that is warmer than what this morning was. We're going to keep warming up as the high pressure moves away and a warm front's lifting over the state. This system here to the west, as it comes in, brings more moisture with it tomorrow. We'll have a few clouds in the morning. and. Probably by tomorrow evening, we start getting some showers that will continue into Friday morning. Friday morning is looking like a pretty good shot at some rainfall. That system moves off. The cold front's just kind of lingering around the state. It doesn't give us much cool air. In fact, it's lifting northward. And by Saturday morning, we're warm. Storms will be coming in out of Oklahoma and Texas Saturday morning in West Arkansas, probably in the middle of the day or late morning hours right through central Arkansas. and should be out of the state before Saturday's all done. And it looks like we do have a chance for severe weather, so make sure you stay weather aware to this television station as the storms draw near. Tornadoes are a possibility with these storms, and there's still a lot to be determined, but you know what? We know we're going to get a good amount of rain. Anywhere from a half inch to an inch of rain is likely. All right, that's your statewide forecast. Now, here's your local forecast.